Hey everybody, Pat here. Welcome back to West Corners Custom Cycles and the Underground Garage. Um, stick around to the end of the video. I got new merch out that I want to show you guys. Uh, in the meantime, I got three projects here going on that I want to profile, show you uh, before I send out the chrome and uh, give you an idea of what's going on here. Two of them are custom projects. One of them is this bar here that uh, goes between the saddlebags, uh, the hard bags on the 91 bagger that I've been working on. You guys are familiar with that if you've been following it. Anyway, let me get this camera moved over here so you can see what's going on, and uh, I'll show you what's up. All right. All right, everybody. I'm back. Now, first thing I wanted to show you, nothing special. It's this bar. You can see the end of it. It's been tapered down. The holes don't mean anything. They're already in the bar before we tapered it on the uh, on the lathe. Um, like I said, this bar goes between the saddlebags on the uh, bagger, the rear saddlebag. There's a there's a bar. It goes like between them. It kind of keeps them spread away from each other. That's what this is for. That's going out for chrome, and that'll be done and ready to uh, use. Okay. Now, second project is these things here. Now, these, what these are, they're going to be flappers for the end of my exhaust on my skull bike. Uh, it's got the loudest frog pipes that come down. They come right down and come straight out. Now, I had a set of these made once before for it, and uh, I didn't have them fastened on there the way I should have or as good as I should have, and I wound up losing one going down the road, so now i got to make another set. I've actually got another set of these cutouts, and I'm going to make two sets. Um, but the way this works... This is a backing plate. This is the front plate. As you can see, the cutout, these were cut out on a uh, water jet uh, from someone here in town. Now, what I wanted to show you, if I can get it to focus, is you can't hardly even see how thin it is. Right here in front of my thumbnail, the metal is so thin between this part that comes down here and the part that comes straight across that I was afraid this bottom part of the jaw was going to break off. You can see it's wicked thin on the either side here. So that's why I came up with the idea of the backing plate. I'm going to put the backing plate on it. I'm going to drill four holes in the backing plate. One where the chin is, one where each of the cheeks is, and one on the forehead. And then I'm going to turn it over and where the holes are. I'm just going to tack weld it inside the holes so that this backing plate and the front plate become one. The bottom part of the jaw will be welded to the back plate, and I don't got to worry about it breaking off. Now, to give you an idea what that all looks like when it's all said and done, I have the one that didn't come off the bike. Here, let me shine it up a little on my shirt here, but this is all done, chromed, and ready to go. That's... uh. That's what it looks like. Now, what it, this is, like I said, I drilled the four holes and I tack welded it, and that's how I got it all together. And now this, the tab on the top here, right here, was where I made this loop, and I had them hooked on, and they flapped every time, you know, the uh, cylinders went up and down, and... Uh, it wasn't a good way to have them attached on there. I'm going to attach them on there different this time. This time, I'm going to take a, uh, I think, a bicycle chain, and I'm going to weld one link to the back here, and the other link I'm going to weld up on top of the uh, exhaust pipe, and I'm just going to let that, those two links, it'll pivot on that. I shouldn't come apart, and it isn't going to come off being welded on, so... I'll have that taken care of. All right, that's uh, the second project here. Um, I don't know about you. I think that's kind of cool. It looked really cool on the bike when I had it before. I thought I had a video of it somewhere, but I can't seem to find it. But, so that's what we're looking at on that project. Now, the Coup de Gras. This is the project that I've been telling you. Uh, I told you on the Ligero build, and I told you on the 91 build that my wife was giving me grief about for shelving and not getting back on. So here it is, boys and girls. These are seats. Solo seats that I've been making. And they are absolutely mind-blowing. I'm hoping the glare is not too much here. 
Uh, these things are going to be absolutely ridiculous. Um, I'm going to take, as you can see, the hardware here goes on the bottom of the seat. That's the springs. I've got coil springs too. I got different. And uh, this is where you, you mount this to the frame. They mount this to the bottom of the seat, and the seat will pivot up and down on that and bounce on the springs. If you're familiar with solo seats, you know what that is. All right, now, to get back to this, what these are and how this is all going to work is these backing plates here, 16-gauge cold-rolled steel. I cut these things out, and you don't know how hard it was to cut these things out into these shapes. I use jewel, jeweler saws. I use hack saws. I use jig saws. And I broke a thousand blades getting all of this stuff cut out. Um, this stuff's pretty tough. But as you can see, I put a bend in it, you know, like seats have. Contour your butt a little bit. Now, the way this is all going to work... This uh, this piece right here is actually um, is a piece of aluminum with a brass coating on it. What it actually is is a kick plate from the bottom of a door. You get it, uh, you know, any home repair store. Um, that's what the other one looks like. And what's going to go on here is I, right now I have a. A uh, piece of clear um, contact paper over the top of these. These things are brass finished, and it is absolutely a mirror finish. It's ridiculous. But I had to have a way to draw on here what I was going to do and how, you know, where the picture was going to be. So, the way this works, backing plates are going to get uh, bolts screwed on the bottom of them. Going to get one here and one here for the springs. Then down the middle, you're going to get one here and one up here. For where the hardware goes so this is going to go there back here we're going to have a bolt here and a bolt here and that's where your springs are going to go you can use this kind of spring or you can use coil springs it doesn't matter i've got both sets and i've got tons of both of them so i can make them both coil i can make them both these other ones it doesn't matter but okay but the way this is going to work um, everything you see on these pictures, the Maltese cross, the nose, the eyes, the eyebrows, the little cutouts here, a little thing here by the nose, uh, all these little diamonds around the teeth, everything's getting cut out. Um, so that when this goes over this, when it's chrome plated, all the cutouts are going to show through as chrome. So you can see around the edge of this, there's going to be a chrome border all the way around the edge of it. And I'm going to rivet it down to this base plate. Everywhere you see a dot on this picture, there's going to be holes drilled. And that's where the rivets are going to go. They're going to hold this down. Same same thing up where all these little marks are in here. This is all where rivets are going to go. So that's what we're looking at. Give you an idea how it's going to look, you know. Once that's all cut out, those will all be chrome you know, showing through. I even thought about cutting out WCCC on this, but we'll see how that goes and how ambitious I get with that. But same thing on this one. We're going to take, there's going to be a, all the way around, there's going to be a border that's chrome, and then it's going to get riveted down. And everything that gets cut out on this, the mouth, the nose, the eyes, the eyebrows, everything on here, is going to get cut out and chrome will shine through where all these cutouts are and where all these little dots are every place there's a dot is where there's going to be a rivet holding this top plate to the bottom plate now those are sick i don't know what anybody thinks but as far as i'm concerned i don't think there's anybody out there big name little name backyard builder or somebody who's really up you know who's a big builder in magazines and anything else i don't think anybody is making seats like this so and if you find somebody that makes seats this cool send me the pictures i want to see them okay so, that's where we're at with those. Those are the three projects I'm working on right now. Um, first thing I'm going to do is get everything welded onto the back of these plates here, the, the four studs that got to go on for the hardware and the springs. As soon as that's done, all this stuff, well, I, I'm going to have to clamp these down 
and get all these holes drilled. So once that hardware is on the back of these and the holes are drilled, everything's going out for chrome. And in the meantime, while everything's out for chrome, I'm going to get on cutting all this stuff out. And I'm going to get together with a buddy of mine who works at a fastener place here in town. And uh, we're going to get together and talk about uh, rivets and what we're going to use. I want to use something shiny, look like a metal stud, you know, either a stainless steel, chrome if they've got them. But uh, I will get that figured out, and these are going to be absolutely ridiculous. Stay tuned, watch these things come together, and check them out when they're done. This one here is going to be going on my skull bike, my personal ride. Same with the uh, the flappers there. They're going to be going on the exhaust on the same bike. So, all right, let me uh, reposition this camera, and I'll show you what's going on with the merch. Okay, everybody. Now, I don't know what you think, but I think these seats are cool, and I think they are absolutely ridiculous. I cannot wait to get them done. And now that I've showed you guys, that puts the fire under my panty to get them, get them going and get them banged out. Okay. Uh, the merch. Got shirts, just as promised. West Quarters Custom Cycles. On the back has the info, phone number, what we do, motorcycles and parts. And some of you may not know it, but... In my garage is basically a swap meet going on all the time. I have more parts in that garage for Harleys, basically 70s, 80s, early to mid 90s in that range. A lot of sports or stuff. Um, but if there's anything you're looking for, you got a friend that's looking for a part, let them know. Give me a holler. Um, the other thing we have, stickers. I don't know how good you can see this. Let me get over here. Huh? There it is. These are four inch by four inch stickers. Basically the same thing it says on the back of the shirt. All right, well, that's it. I'm gonna figure out uh, how I'm gonna get this stuff out to you guys because we have uh, a lot of views from a lot of countries. Uh, last time I checked, I think the most countries we were up to was like 31, so. I'm going to have to do something with these on like a drop ship thing. So I'm looking into that. I do have a couple of dozen of these all set, ready to go right now. Um, and the stickers. I got a couple of hundred stickers. Uh, I was probably going to do um, shirt shirt and a sticker for 20 bucks. Sounds good to me. So that's what I'm looking at right now. I'm going to figure out a way to get them out to you guys. And as soon as I do, I will let you know. Okay. Thank you again for tuning in checking out the projects we got going on. Another thing, I got everything in the mail for uh, the Ligero project to get that done and back together. I got the piston and rings. I got a new chain. Uh, I got a couple other minor things that uh, needed to go on it for the front brake, but everything's ready to go on that, so I'm ready to get that back together too. I'm going to get in the garage tomorrow and start on that. going to start off a video by opening up all the mail, show you the parts that I got, and then we're going to go get them on the bike, get that thing done and running. All right. Okay, well, as always, thanks for tuning in. You guys ride safe, be good to each other, and live life behind bars, okay? I'll catch you all on the flip side in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.